So this is a very high yield question for USMLE step one, including this image. Okay, so right off the bat, I'll say that uh, this image is showing us clear cell carcinoma, which is the most common variant of renal cell carcinoma. Uh, I believe it accounts for at least three quarters of renal cell carcinomas. So the answer is obviously kidney here. Now, but there's some important points we need to chat about apart from just this image. So we can see that this guy, he has an elevated hemoglobin at 18.7 grams per deciliter. Normal range is 13 to 17.5 grams per deciliter. And his serum calcium is elevated at 10.6 milligrams per deciliter. Normal range 8.4 to 10.2. So we could make the contention that he's a smoker for the past 20 years. So that in and of itself can cause a secondary polycythemia just from having lung disease and low arterial uh, oxygenation. Okay, so we could get a secondary polycythemia where EPO is increased in secretion of compensate, is hemoglobin slightly elevated. Yes, absolutely true. But we should also bear in mind that uh, renal cell carcinoma can secrete perineoplastic EPO. Okay, so EPO can be secreted by the renal cell carcinoma in addition to PTHRP, so parathyroid hormone related peptide similar to squamous cell carcinoma in the lung. That's always a good one. Students are like, wait, what the fuck? Like other cancers apart from squamous cell, the lung can secrete PTHRP? Yeah, and it's renal cell carcinoma, okay? So really, really high yield that you know RCC can both secrete EPO and PTHRP as perineoplastic syndromes. So smoking is the most common cause of uh, renal cell carcinoma, okay? Smoking is the most common cause of many cancers, including uh, bladder cancer, okay? So uh, anything in the, the urogenital tract, um, smoking, very high yield cause, okay? So that's our primary neoplasm here. Uh, colon, uh, I just threw in two uh, answers, ascending and sigmoid, to be an asshole as a distractor, because it's like, ooh, wow, like history of diverticulitis, like could he have colon cancer? I mean, this isn't, uh, uh, th this should not be disregarded in its entirety because Patients who do have diverticulitis, although you never scope them acutely, that's really high yield for 2CK. You always diagnose with CT of the abdomen, the contrast, diverticulitis. Never scope them acutely. You can cause perforation. But in the follow-up, after treatment, you need to do a colonoscopy to rule out uh, colon cancer, okay? So it's not to say it's impossible. We don't disregard it. But when we have this image here, clearly of RCC, clear cell, plus the EPO with the PTHRP, uh, we just know that the answer is going to be uh, kidney here, okay? No, normally, diverticulae or diverticula will occur in the sigmoid colon in elderly. Um, lung, okay, and prostate, just not our answers here. Could chat a lot about these, all right? I'm just going to keep this question focused and concise. Uh, that's all you need to know.